Hi, I'm Kelly. And I'm Emily. And we're here at Lake Metro Parks Farm Park, and today we're going to talk about tickets. And we're going to show you a little bit of different ways to tell uh, between a hen and a rooster. So here we have two Wyandots. This is Fred, and Emily has Ginger. So we're going to talk about the rooster first, because they have a lot of different qualities that you can kind of point out between them. So a big thing here is we're going to talk about the comb and the waddles. Now all chickens do have combs and waddles. There are many different types of combs, uh, many different sizes. Typically the rooster is going to have a larger comb and larger waddles. This is not always the case. It's going to depend on the breed as well as the individual bird itself. Another thing is that roosters have saddle feathers, whereas the hens do not, and we'll look at that at Ginger. But they're very long and narrow as well as they have a pointed end. Roosters also have hackle feathers, and they are also very long and narrow and pointed at the ends. Another cool thing about the roosters is their tails. So their tail feathers are also called sickle feathers because you'll notice they're very long, narrow, and pointed, just like their saddle and hackle feathers. And typically the roosters have some sort of iridescent coloring on their tail feathers. Um, you can see Fred here, he's kind of got some blues and greens in there. Um, this is also not always the case. Um, but it's very typical of roosters. And roosters also occasionally have spurs. Most of them do, but there are some roosters that do not. Um, and they also vary in different sizes as well. Those are some unique feathered qualities about our rooster Fred. Now let's take a look at our hen Ginger. As we can see, Ginger has a comb and waddles just like Fred does. But because of their breed, they're very small compared to Fred's. We'll also look at her hackle feathers. And they're a little bit wider and more oval shape or rounded at the ends compared to Fred's hackle feathers. You also notice that um, Ginger does not have any feathers draped down the edge of her tail or the sides of her tail, meaning she does not have saddle feathers. That is typical just of roosters. And if we also take a look at her tail feathers as well, they're also wider than Fred's and oval shaped and rounded at the ends as well. Hens can have spurs. Um, they don't always. If you take a look at Ginger, she just has a little nub there, so she doesn't really have spurs, um, but some hens can grow tiny, tiny ones. Another thing interesting about Ginger here is chickens will molt um, a few times a year. They'll lose their feathers and grow new ones. So if you look here and see these little white stripes almost, she is growing what are called her pin feathers. Um, so new feathers will grow in in almost like a thin plastic tubing. Um, and then they will lose that tubing. Sometimes you'll see them picking at themselves, um, pulling that off. So Ginger is currently growing in some new feathers. We'd like to share a few fun facts about chickens with you. Chickens are considered chicks until they're fully feathered out, meaning they have lost all of their fuzz or fluff and have all of their feathers. A male chicken is considered a cockerel until he is one year old, and then he is considered a rooster. A female chicken is considered a pullet until she reaches one year old, and then is considered a hen. Hens typically begin laying their eggs around 18 weeks old. Um, that can be affected by several different things, such as breed, the individual bird itself, as well as their environment. And a hen does not need a rooster to lay eggs. They will always lay eggs. Thanks for hanging out with our fanciful feathered friends. We hope you have an excellent day. Hey, Emily, I have a joke for you. What's that, Kelly? What do you call a rooster that wakes you up? Hmm, I don't know. An alarm clock. <laughs>